Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and for the past two months, you know, we've been bringing you different videos about the battleship New Jersey, and well, today, it is finally moving. It's a little windy, we got about 15 mile per hour winds, but this is what's gonna go down. The ship's gonna be pushed back from the pier. They're gonna move just kind of in front of where the pier is and rotate it with four different tugs before then pulling it down the Delaware and then over towards the Walt Women Bridge where we're hopefully, depending on the wind, be able to put the drone in the skies for you. It's not gonna go into dry dock today. It's actually gonna hang out in Paulsboro for about a week and then in a week's time, I believe on March 27th, but then pull it into dry dock. Now, before we get started on this video, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons at patreon.com, because then we could spend the day here at 11 o'clock in the morning videotaping this really cool history. If you want to support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. We are roughly about 45 minutes until it's time to move, and the tugboats are getting into position. She is still tied up. Right now there's a couple people giving speeches. The CEO of the Battleship Marshal just finished. Uh, we know that the governor is here and a couple other state representatives. She is pretty much all ready to go. We're gonna walk around for a little bit and share with you everything that's going on today. You can see, once again, this uh, tugboat's getting ready. There's a lot of people here today, which is absolutely amazing because it means a lot of people appreciate history. Let me show you around. Southern New Jersey AFL-CIO, the state senator, or member of Congress. Congressman Norcross has stood for and by the battleship and its governments. As a member... This is looking down the walk. They put up new flags. These amount of folks, but everyone's kind of pushed in down this way. We're about like 20 minutes away. And um, Coast Guard put a 500 yard enclosure so you can't go within. You can see the Coast Guard and all the boats sitting outside of that. And uh, she's still tied up in the front. The other tugboat's actually on the other side. It just went by. You can't see it right now. But the wind is kicking up just a little bit. Crews are I'm doing some of the ropes right now. Pretty soon this is going to get a little slack, like that one over here. You can see they're working on this end as well. It's pretty cool. It's not every day you can see a battleship do this. The lines are starting to go slack. You can see they're pulling in one of the aft lines. Oh, and the first one's down. They're going to pull it up on the ship. This is so cool to watch. They're getting ready to detach another line. Right now, I know you can't hear it, but uh, Governor Murphy is speaking. You can see him somewhere over there. Most of the lines are down in the back, you can see. This one's now slacked. We only have like one here that's still attached. They're only about maybe 15 minutes away. You can see a lot of these lines are slack because the wind is kind of pushing it towards the pier a little bit. And the lines in the front are still on. Please join me a very big welcome home. See when you come, well, this is what they're handing out to everyone. It's the program for today with the dry docking logo. And uh, when you flip it over, it gives you the schedule for the day. And uh, we're right here. We're finishing up with Rear Admiral Anderson right now. And then pretty soon, it's gonna be heading out 
We're about like 10 minutes away. Most of the lines here are all taken down. There's a couple more in the front, and then it's going to push back. A few helicopters showed up, and uh, yeah, it's a little windy. I'm a little worried about the drone for uh, a couple of the shots, but we'll keep it under 200 feet, so it shouldn't be that bad. We're about 10 minutes away, and they're pulling the front lines now. You see the crews up there? Crews are pulling out all the rest of the lines. We're at the battleship. We're one team. We're There's one only a few left. Every single staff member, from a tour guide to someone who works in TikTok. They're getting ready to put the reef into the water, honoring our vets. Probably can't hear it, but Taps is currently playing. Now that they have put the reef in, final speeches have now been made. They're finally able to push out. I only have one more line left back here to pull in. They're turning on the generator since it's going to be disconnected from the docks. I know you can't see from this angle, but down over here, one of the tugboats are there. We've got winds going from north to south, so I'm, I'm assuming he's going to push. They're going to bring one over here and at least push it from this angle. Up front, they only have one more line left as well. It's hard to see through the gate, but it's right there. That's going to be moving in a few minutes. The state police helicopter is doing a flyover. Ceremony. Woo! Well, I did not expect that. So they're saluting them with a flyover. This is the final line. They're heading over now. You can't really hear it. But uh, it seems like a band is playing. And they just rang the bell for the ship. This is the only line that's left, so. Once this is let go on time, she'll be floating on her own. She's got tugboats on, I think we got three right now on it. And there we go. The last line is now detached. She's now only being held in place thanks to the tugs. We have crews on top. And in a moment, let's go back here. You can, you'll see her move forward. See the water tower is. In a moment, she'll be pulling forward. Just made the call. They're getting ready to move in a second. You can see slowly, she's pulling forward. You can tell because of the water tower starting to come into view. They cleared the water tower now. She is officially moving already. Slowly. Her horn is going off. She is officially moving. Slowly, but she's moving. Right. 
can see how slowly she's moving. You got Citizens Bank Park behind it. And uh, remember, they still have the rotator, so they're going to pull her out. They put right, already pulled her away from the dock. And then they'll rotate it before she heads south down to Delaware. It is now pulled away. I'm gonna grab a couple more shots in the front and then make our way down the Delaware. You can see the tugboats are coming in. And they're gonna start pushing her to turn her around. Gonna start pushing her in a second. And we have contact in a few seconds. And there we go. We've got contact. And they're gonna push her to turn her around. And now let's get down to the Walt Whitman and meet her down there. It's gonna be at least 40 minutes, so it's not that much time when you oh, have to realize you gotta get down there, set up, go through the app, get everything ready to go, and then take off. So let's head down there. We are now in Gloucester City. You can see the Walt Whitman Bridge right over here. The ship is probably about 15 minutes away. We have gotten, because of where we're located, you can tell we've got aircraft flying by. We had gotten FAA lands clearance up to 200 feet to fly here. The ship is sitting, I think, at a max height right now, about a, maybe 180. It's low tide, so it'll usually be about 190. So we're about 10, 11 feet lower. Plus, they took off that mast on top, the radar. So we get some good shots. Um, wind about 12 knots, which is borderline where I like to be. But um, we're gonna wait here for about 10 minutes and then put the drone in the sky. You can see her coming along under tow. How amazing were those shots, right? A little windy, but uh, now 
New Jersey's making her way that way. Well, she'll park for a few days, actually about seven, for then finally going in the dry dock a little bit later in the month. Anyway, I'm going to go. I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. You guys stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye.